Hi Quilty friends, my name is Jarrah Brandvig and I'm from the rainy city of Seattle, Washington. You might know me on Instagram um, and social media as Quilting in the Rain. So on the side of my day job, I absolutely love to quilt um, and I also love to design fabrics. Um, and today I'm so excited to be here in Issaquah, Washington at one of my favorite local quilt shops called Gossipium Quilts. And we have a special treat for you today because we are going to be sharing with you how to make this beautiful quilt called Port Townsend. Um, which is featured in one of my latest books called Quiltistico Me Cover. So why don't we go head up to the studio at Pacific Quilt Shop and we'll show you how to make it. Hi everyone, welcome to Pacific Quilt Studio. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to make this quilt called Port Townsend. Uh, before we get started, I just want to give you two unique things about this quilt. So first, it is made up of hexagons. And when you machine piece them together, these cute stars appear. Second, I did not use any batting in this quilt. Instead, I used a quilting cotton flannel material, which is this beige color. Um, however, if you do want to um, use uh, quilting cottons for the front and back, um, and use batting, that's totally an option which is covered in my book. But for this quilt, I use the quilting cotton flannel for the back and re your regular quilting cottons for the front. For this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a mini version of this quilt. And for that mini version, we will be using, um, we will be making eight of these hexagons and two half hexagons. Um, some supplies that I recommend that you'll need are a rotating cutting mat. I use that for all of my quilt as you go. Um, also, a quilting ruler, a rotary cutter, and some of your favorite fabrics. Uh, for this example, I am using Sweet Beginnings um, uh, quilting fabric, uh, which Gossipium quilt, quilt Shop carries, and this is one of my first fab fabric collections for Maywood Studio. Also, what you'll need is the hexagon template, which you can find in the back of my book. However, unfortunately, there was an error in that template, so until the second printing, um, the solution is a printer-friendly PDF um, that you can just print out. And the link to that printout, which looks like this, is available at the link at the bottom of this, tutor of this video tutorial. And it is also available permanently on my website, on my sidebar. Um, my website is quiltinginthering.com, and you can also find it at CNT Publishing's um, website. Just search my book, and there'll be a link there. Okay, so now let's talk about how to make these hexagons. So as mentioned, you're going to want to print out the PDF correction pattern, which looks like this. Um, you're going to want to make a full hexagon paper template, which will eventually look like that. Um, to do that, you're going to want to cut this out twice. You're going to cut it out along the solid line here to make, um, to make the full hexagon template. You're going to cut out two of those. So you're going to cut two of these out, and then you're going to tape them together to make your full hexagon template. Um, as mentioned, we will also be making half hexagons, and the half hexagon template, you will need to cut out this half hexagon, but um, for this time, you're going to want to include this dotted line here so that you will cut out a half hexagon template that looks like that. Okay, so once you have your hexagon templates and half hexagon templates ready, um, we could get into cutting, um, and I will be showing you how to cut a full hexagon. So let me go ahead and show you how to make these hexagons. Okay, so um, as we talked about, we've made the paper template, and I have my Sweet Beginnings fabric, and I have my rotating cutting mat, and I'm just gonna use this template like that, just lay it right on the fabric, and basically I'm going to align my ruler with, this, with the edge of the paper template. And what I love about the rotating cutting mat is you never have to have an awkward cutting position. You just cut, rotate, and this might seem a little daunting at first, but once you've cut a few, you'll just get a hang of it. And um, I usually cut like four or five at a time. I just um, iron and stack my fabrics, and then I cut them. But you know, when you first start out, just go with one until you get comfortable. Let's see how easy that was with the rotating cutting mat. 
And if you have the right tools, it's just so easy. So that's how you use the template to cut out a hexagon. So now that you've cut out your hexagons, I'll show you how to sew them together. Um, and I've already sewn this one together here um, in this example. So what I have here is one hexagon cut out with, from the quilting cottons. Um, and on the other side um, is a hexagon cut out from the flannel backing. So these have already been put together with the right size facing together. And then what I did here is I sewed a 1 4th inch seam allowance around the perimeter of the, of the hexagon. Um, I started and ended my um, stitch with a back stitch and I left a two inch opening here on the side. Make sure you leave the opening on the side rather than near a corner. Um, then I took my fabric scissors and I just cut off some extra bulk from each of the corners. Um, and then next you're just going to basically turn that right side out, which I'll do really quick for you here. And when I made my bigger quilt, I just sewed all my hexagons and then I just sat at the couch, you know, in front of the TV and did this. So it might seem like a tedious process, but if you're just chilling in front of the TV, it's not so bad. Okay, so once you've turned it right side out, you're going to take this over to the iron it, to the iron, <coughs> excuse me, and iron it flat. Um, for that opening, I just sort of let the, um, the seams, uh, when I, I, iron, I iron them so that they are inward like that. Um, and you don't have to worry about closing or stitching that um, opening close because you will do that later when you um, stitch your stars, um, when you stitch the corners down to create the stars in the front of the quilt. So um, once I've ironed this, um, the next step is I will show you how to stitch together a row of hexagons um, and I'll show you that next. So here I have three completed full hexagons with my flannel in the back and my quilting cottons in the front. And I'm going to show you how to attach them together to create a hexagon row. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to mark the center of two adjacent sides. Um, and to do that, it's really simple. So real quick, what you're basically going to be doing is sewing these together like that. Um, but to find the center, all you do is you just fold a corner to corner together crease it, open it back up and you'll see there's a little tiny crease there and you're just going to mark it and then you're going to do the same on this side. So I'm folding it, creasing it, opening it back up, marking it and then I'm going to take a ruler and just really simple draw a line from those marks that I previously marked, just like that. Okay, now in order to sew these together, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this hexagon um, with the back sides facing together. I'm gonna align them. And then I'm gonna take this over to my sewing machine and I'm going to stitch a line right down that line that I just marked and I'm gonna start and end my stitches with a back stitch. So I'm gonna take this over to the machine um, and get that done and then I'll show you how it looks like. Okay, so I'm back from my sewing machine and as you can see here, I have sewn my three hexagons together to create a hexagon row. So now I'm gonna show you how to assemble these hexagon rows together. And to make this mini quilt, um, as previously mentioned, you will need eight full hexagons and two half hexagons. And for this mini quilt example, I've already sewn two of the rows together. So as you can see here, I have my first row, which has three full hexagons. Uh, my second row here in the middle has two full hexagons and the two half hexagons. Um, and this is the row that we just made, and I will show you how, it, how to attach this, that to here. Um, so before we get into any sewing, what you're going to need to do is mark more lines. So just like I showed you previously, you're going to want to um, find the centers and then mark a line going here, just like that. Okay, so I'm going to go and mark these up and then I'll show you how that looks like when I'm all done. 
Okay, so I'm back and I pinned that row onto my mini quilt. So let me show you how that looks like. So I put wonder clips at the end and um, as mentioned before, I just pinned at the intersections here. Okay, and um, it might be kind of hard to see here, but I, those were the lines that I marked. And so the next part is this is ready to take over to the sewing machine and sew. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So what you're gonna do is you're just basically going to sew um, right along those lines that you marked, okay? And when you get to the intersections, the important thing to remember is to just put your needle down right at that intersection, um, pivot your fabric, and then keep sewing, right? So when you get to the intersections, just make sure you have that needle down, pivot, and then keep sewing. So you, you are going to be sewing sort of a zigzag, okay? And um, as I keep mentioning, this is gonna feel awkward at first when you bring this over to your machine, but once you've done it, you know, once you've gone past a few hexagons, you'll get the hang of it. But, you know, if you just follow those lines that you previously marked, and when you get to those intersections, like I said, just put your needle down, um, pivot, and then keep sewing, uh, needle down, pivot, keep sewing, um, then it'll look great. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this over to the sewing machine and do that, and then I'll show you how that looks like. Okay, I'm back from my sewing machine, and I have sewn this top row of hexagons onto the rest of the mini quilt. So, as you can see here, I stitched in that right along um, the line that I previously marked um, and had my needle down at the intersections and just stitched right along kind of in this zigzag pattern here. Okay, so the last part to finish this quilt is you're just going to open up these corners and you can press them with an iron. Um, so as you see here, when you start to open up these corners, these cute little stars form. And so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take this back to your sewing machine, use a coordinating thread, and top stitch those corners down. Um, so after you've done that, you're gonna wanna do the same for the edge corners of your hexagon mini. So to do that, again, you're just gonna have to find the centers um, and then you will, you can iron these parts down or use a wonder clip, however you like. Um, but that's basically how you're gonna finish up the edge there. See, so just kinda find those center marks again, mark them, you can fold them. Um, I didn't even have to mark them here, I just sort of eyeballed it, but do whichever works best for you. Um, so you'll uh, iron those down and then you'll just top stitch it. And that's pretty much it. So that's how you make this mini version of the Port Townsend quilt. Um, again, if you want to make this mini version, you will need to assemble eight full hexagons and two half hexagons. Um, the quilt behind me was made using 46 full hexagons and six half hexagons. And if you want to make the quilt bigger, just keep adding hexagons. Um, again, you can find this pattern in my latest book called Quilt As You Go Make Clever. This book is, avail is available excuse me, at Gossipium Quilt Shop. Um, and don't forget to print out that pattern correction of the hexagon template. Um, and just to re reiterate, um, this pattern has tons of awesome up-close illustrations to guide you on exactly how to assemble this quilt. Um, and that's about it. And it was just so much fun sewing with you all. Thank you so much.